Welcome to the world of anesthesia. Today I am going to discuss the positioning of, of the patient and anesthesia. Anesthesiologist shares a critical responsibility for positioning of the patient in the operating room. The positions deemed optimal for the surgical exposure may lead to the physiological changes. For example, the fall of blood pressure that is hypotension due to the less input of the blood to the heart. Secondly, there can be the oxygen desaturation due to ventilation perfusion abnormalities. And thirdly, there can be the nerve damage due to the traction and compression leading to the increased perioperative morbidity. Today, I am going to focus on the lateral decubitus position which is mainly used for the thoracic surgery, the retroperitoneal structures and hip surgery. In this position, the patient lies on the non-operative uh, side with his the dependent leg flexed and the dependent arm resting on the arm board which is padded and the non-dependent arm this is the non-dependent arm rests on the arm rest now head of the patient should be in the neutral position so that there may not be any excessive lateral rotations and there shouldn't be any traction on the brachial plexus. Secondly, we should see the lower ear of the patient which may not be folded or which may not be under pressure. The eyes should be taped so that there may not be any exposure injury to the cornea like this. The lower eye should be frequently checked so that there may not be any compression on, on it. To avoid the injuries to the brachial plexus and the compression of the vascular component of the axilla, we frequently place a axillary roll cowder to the axilla. It, is, it should be remembered that it should never be placed in the axilla. With the help of this, the whole weight of the thorax is taken up by the lower chest. The pulse should be monitored in the dependent arm, which helps to detect the compression of the vascular components of axilla. The falling reading of the blood pressure and the decreasing SpO2 may also help in the detection of this compression. Now, when we have to make the kidney position or when we have to place a block, we should place it under the iliac crest to avoid the pressure on inferior vena cava, which will also lead to the decreased input to the heart. A pillow is placed between the two legs, that is the lower one which is flexed and the upper one which is extended. This pillow prevents the extensive pressure on the uh, bony prominences and it helps to the lower the incidence of the nerve damage by the traction on the nerves of the lower extremity. This lateral decubitus position also leads to the compromise in the pulmonary function. In this position, Due to, the due to the combination of weight of lateral mediastinum on the lower lung and the disproportionate pressure of abdominal contents on the dependent dome of diaphragm leads to favorably the overventilation of the but the perfusion of the underventilated dependent lung increases due to the effect of gravity. This 
leads to the ventilation perfusion mismatch which leads to the oxygen desaturation. To conclude, proper positioning of the patient requires the cooperation of anesthetist, the surgeon and the nurses. For the proper exposure of the uh, surgical area and to ensure the safety and well-being of the patient. The patient should be placed in a position that he would tolerate when he is awake. That is the best position for the patient during anesthesia and surgery. Thank you.